Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for the Gizwiz is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. This is episode 1468, recorded on Wednesday, May 14th, 2014. Make relax time. This episode of the Gizwiz is brought to you by iFixit. You can fix it, and iFixit makes it easy with free step-by-step -step repair guides, high-quality replacement parts, and all the tools you'll need. For $10 off your purchase of $50 or more, go to iFixit.com twit and enter the code GIZWIZ at checkout. And now, get ready for Dick! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we got rain drops of glue and ice cubes. All next! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG Chad on Twit TV. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, a nerd pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Yeah. Now! Mad's maddest writer, Dick DiBartolo. Here he is. How are you doing, Dick? I am here, sir, and how are you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing good. It's funny. Excellent. I got so used yes. to it being on Monday last week, I kind of forgot we were doing the show today. <laughs> yeah. You did it once on a Monday? We did it once on a Monday, and I you totally thought it forgot. Had... I see. Okay. Completely oh. forgot. Like, this morning, wow. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I, I don't have to be on camera today. I can... Not shave. I mean, this isn't the worst not shaving, but uh, I didn't shave and I didn't bother to like this. Well, undershirt. when you don't shave, it's like a one o'clock shadow. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you've ever. I think it's a twelve thirty shadow. shadow. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I think your shadow so is gruff, just like so grizzled. <laughs> yeah, but thirty second late shadow. That's all. It's like. I sorry. That was kind of loud. Uh, wow. I was trying to trying to show. Yes, there are. In fact, you're gonna give me. Oh, there's a phobia for this. I swear, you're gonna give yourself a paper cut or something. Uh, <laughs> paper cut phobia. I can't take it. This is freaking out, Josh. Paper cut phobia. It's freaking me out. <laughs> really? Oh, you have a paper cut? Or oh, that's our. What if uh, I do this on myself? Stop it! Josh. Stop it! Stop Whoa. it! I didn't know I had this until just now. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah. So. Um. Anyway, I guess we do have the show today, so no rest. Yeah, we do. We do. It's going to be an exciting show. Now, last I'm doing Go ahead. Yeah, because last week uh, we uh, we filmed early so that you could go to the hardware show. So Exactly. Is that what and we're we not even we're, we're not even filming it anymore. We we've decided to do it digitally. Oh, oh, whoa. Yeah, what? I know. No I know. what are you going to do with all the extra film that we bought? It's down the basement. Oh, that's sol solenoid, sel selenoid. What is it called? <laughs> Sol yes. sol celluloid. Sol celluloid, celluloid, Jason. Help celluloid. Me out. celluloid, there you go. Celluloid. There you go. Yeah, yeah darn. Um, you know, it's funny because I would always get mad at people who would say, yeah, we're going to film on blank. It's like, we don't film anymore, we record. And then same thing with uh, if a movie can still be a movie, but it's technically not a film, unless if it was ever captured on film, it's really just a video. So most of the films that are in the film, like movie theaters, are actually videos, because it's all just shot digitally. I don't think anyone uh, wait, else cares about I, I, it. I thought only a small amount of video, of video, of movies were on video. You're saying the majority of yeah. them are? Yeah, oh. yeah. Nowadays, I mean, The Hobbit was shot all in, in digitally. A lot of things, uh, ever since uh, 300 was the first, uh, I think, to shoot all digitally, the movie 300, and that was years ago. Um, and I just think that they've figured out... I remember going to the Austin Film oh. Festival in, like, 2006, 2005, 2006, and... Abs and everyone was talking about how everything was going to be digital and how cheap digital is. And, um, and yeah, I, I'm pretty positive. Oh, so, so if it's digital, how is it delivered to the theater? 
So uh, now 4K, you see a lot of the theaters now uh, say 4K video, or some of them will will uh, promote 4K, and that's a digital projector that's really high quality. But most of the projectors, um, there's a lot of digital projectors now, uh, and they, they'll boast their resolution. Sometimes they will transfer it to film uh, for the older theaters that haven't upgraded. Uh, I believe that almost all, and then uh, there's a lot, like uh, whenever I go into the theater here in Petaluma, uh, they, they're hyping DLP, uh, which is a, a digital projector. Uh, the DLP technology uses mirrors to bounce slide around. Right, yeah, uh, right. Texas Instrument, I think, right, started. Right, right. And so, but the, you know, the like thing I is, don't you think one, one day they're, they're, you won't deliver anything to a theater? They'll video, they'll video, they'll digital. Make make the digital uh, feature, and then transmit it through the air. Theater, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, don't you think there'll be a day where you don't even need uh, to have something physically delivered to a theater? Possibly. I definitely think there'll be a day. There there was even a service. I forget the name of it, but it was like you would spend forty bucks or fifty bucks. And you could give it, get it digitally delivered to your house. So it was as if, and you would get it before it got to rental or DVD. It was the time when it was still in theaters, and you could basically get a, a theater movie into your house. Um, wow. At the moment, like I, I we actually, um, Alex, uh, uh, one of our engineers, knows uh, the guy who works at this theater, and we were asking him about it and how it works, and he says they get hard drives with the movie in, and this is what a few people in the chat room are saying, they get hard drives with the movie in, they d pop the hard drive into their computer, and then even the schedule time, the, the play time, the ads before it are all automated. You basically wow. don't have the person up in the booth anymore making sure everything runs on time. It's all automated, and it, things will just run and run and run, um, basically all on, all on themselves, but yeah. Pretty neat. Pretty yeah, neat. That's uh, that's the film industry, should I say the video industry of of uh, current times. But I guess let's move on to the to what you saw at the hardware National show. National hardware show. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, so uh, lots and lots of fun stuff. And it's very funny. I, I found like a dozen things. I'm probably gonna make May uh, hardware gadgets on Gizwiz. You're doing things that light up for May. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what's interesting is I don't think I have one tool in all the things I found at the show because the hardware show is becoming a broader and broader <laughs> spectrum of gadgets. You're right. I would expect to see a lot of hammers and saws at a hardware show. Yes. But I guess home improvement, there's a lot of gadgets with home improvement. There's a lot of gadgets and and there's a lot of fun stuff. And, and the, the, the first thing kind of interesting is because I thought it was a brand new thing and, and the guy said, uh, we've been making this for 90 years, but it was a very niche market and we decided to come to the hardware show and try to make this product known to the general public. Wow. And we'll go to the first video and you'll see what that 90... There's well, a 90-year-old gadget. I, I, I'll listen to the guy again in, in, the, uh, in the video. I'm, I think he said his company has been around for 90 years. But let's watch gadget number one for the National Hardware Show. So you heard of singing in the rain? How about right in the rain? So I'm walking, I'm at the National Hardware Show in Vegas. I'm walking along, I see a bucket. I see water running in the bucket. What? I see the water running on a pad in the bucket. And I say to the gentleman, why are you doing this? And he says, well, Dick, you say, well, Dick. Well, Dick, if you want to write in the rain or write on the job oh, site, wow. you're going to need paper that allows you to do it. And with write in the rain, we've this got like water-based coating that seals the paper and makes it completely water repellent. That is amazing. So are all of, are all of these books using your paper? Yes, they are. And give, give me an idea of uh, the price range for these. For, well, like a little pocket, a little shirt pocket, three by fives, three ninety-five retail. It's not bad. All these job site books it's are four ninety-five. Cheap. 
a side spiral is 695 on up to a big eight and a half by 11 that's 1595. That is really great. I'm an avid boater, and, and sometimes you're making notes, and it's a little boat, so, you know. Spray. Yeah, I right assume there. salt water is not going to be very different, right, than, uh, Correct. Th than fresh water here. We make it all in Tacoma, so we're around salt water. All, all yeah. the time. Okay, this is really great. So the website is rightintherain.com? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, Dennis, just show that again. So right r-i-t-e right in the rain dot com and dyslexic. any stores carrying this we're in a lot of stores that uh, would sell to uh, geologists surveyors people that work in the outdoors law enforcement military we're a 90 plus year old company wow. but we're new to the oh, hardware the show new to the diy uh, industry and new to mainstream usa but if people have worked in forestry or timber or geology or law enforcement or have an army background they'll know us as a tool they've used every day Great. Okay. Well, I'm glad you came to the hardware show because now more people are finding about this amazing technique. I get my best ideas in the shower, which means twice a year when I go in there, I have a good idea. But from now on, I'm going to have one of these right in the rain notepads there. So Dick D. Bartola, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, we're going to find more stuff at the National Hardware Show in Vegas. You're absolutely right. I want a notepad that I can write down my ideas. Yes, in the it's shower. made out of recycl recyclable wood-based paper, and it sh uh, shreds sheds water moisture. Now, th there are, there's one thing you should know: uh, you can write on it with any pencil. That's what I was wondering. Yes, you should have a a waterproof pen. One of those pens that can write underwater or upside down. But the company sells the pens, and the pens are nine bucks. That's not uh, bad. But no, the thing about it is, and, and they, they had a, another little dish with a regular pad in it. And he says, you know, if you want to try, try writing on a regular pad, even with a pencil. And of course, as soon as you write, the paper just That's funny. tears apart and floats away. That's amazing. Um, I was looking at the About Us section uh, in, on their website, and sure enough, they've been a company since 1920. Uh, right in the rain, paper, uh, they made you know, uh, an early version of it to address problems for the Pacific Northwest logging industry in the 1920s. And our product has been evolving ever since. You know, and also when he said law enforcement, I was thinking they probably, they probably came up with it when... Cops were trying to write tickets in the rain. Of course. You know, and they figure, well, you know what? We could, even if we could write a ticket in the rain, we're going to put it on this guy's windshield. And by the time he comes back, it's going to be in a thousand pieces and illegible. But, uh. And you touched we, it. It just feels like real paper. It doesn't have it like. It feels like real paper. It doesn't it it have like, like a like coat real. or anything. You yeah, know, no. And, and, <sighs> and I was amazed at the price. Like he said, five bucks for the yeah. little pair. Yeah. It, it's pretty neat. That is really, really neat. I'm. I, we live in the future. Uh, we live in the. <laughs> we live in the future. We've gone I'm to the moon, gonna... and we can write on soggy paper yeah. that won't ever even become soggy. And you know, it, it just looks like it, it feels yeah, a little it's... thicker than regular paper. But well, you never. That's not a downside. If, if, that's like no, a great no, thing. If, if uh, I handed you this and and told you to write on it, you would think I had just handed you a normal pad. Yeah. But then when I said, "Get in the shower and keep yeah. writing." No, say, start crying what? right How now. Cry on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's really cool. And it, so you can buy this on their website. Can and you, in many stores. Oh, really? So uh, oh, and uh, like uh, there, I, I believe there. You know, I didn't try. Uh, just look. go to Amazon and, and double check. Right in the rain on Amazon. Oh well, it's auto completing. That's a good sign. Yeah, sure okay. enough, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Wow. It's kind of fun when you uh, when you find something that's been around for so long. You know, someone once said to me, uh, "Well, I've seen that before," and and someone else is standing there and said, "Well, I never did, and if I didn't see it before, it could be thirty years old. It's new to me." Yeah. So I, I I suspect that uh, this technology is going to be new to a lot of people since. None of us are loggers. You didn't take up logging in school, did you? No. I, I know your university was a very tough, rough 
just from your uh, the mascot. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you, we, uh, our Mr. Maroon in high school. Mr. Maroon, he was the uh, logging champ. Yeah, he was he was a bruiser. That one. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, how he got the color purple. That, exactly. Yeah. He was always fighting um, it, with a name like Mr. Maroon. Who wouldn't <laughs> punch in the face? Um, yeah. So, man, like, it's funny because now I'm I'm coming to the realization I don't really write that much, like. I don't know if writing in the rain is really going to make me start writing. Although it is, at the, at the little amount that I do write, it'd be nice to have a waterproof pad to write on. Yeah. You know. No, like with, my, with the boat, there was just one a couple of times when I took a trip to Canada in an 18-foot boat, which was open everywhere, and we were trying to write down... Uh, uh, buoy numbers and things. Oh yeah, and that was the time that I wish I had one of those pads. I could but easily right. imagine just a little bit of of wind breeze, you know, pushing some of the water on. You, it falls on your yes. your paper and it's soaked. It's gone. There go all your yeah. all your info, all your miles, your knots per minute, per hour, etc. You know, I so wish you know I would have. I had a Boy Scout book that. I had for 15 minutes before I just dropped it into water, and then all the pages became super wrinkly. This is like when I was 11. Why didn't they make the Boy Scout you know Handyman what? book out of this paper? You know what? I should have. I, I bet. I bet somewhere along the line, there are companies. Maybe this. Maybe this company does that, where certain textbooks would have to be made out of paper. Yeah. You know, basic training. Maybe your 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 basic training book when you're out in the field and yeah, and this opens up just I, me and you both had no idea that this product even existed, and we're just thinking of all these great applications for it. So funny, we could go on for hours. I'm sure we could. Yes, yes. Here's something else. Let's see if you knew if this existed. Okay, so this is a belt buckle. Okay, right. That's the side of it. All right. This also, I, uh, I, I met the inventor of this, and I said, oh, I love this thing. Is it brand new? And she said, well, I've been doing it for five years, but <laughs> I, I decided to come to the hardware show. So this, this, is, this is what she invented. It, it's very clever. It's called the Finder's Key Purse. And what it is, it's, it's for women, mm -hmm. or they, 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 make a, they make very decorative ones for women, and they make some plain metal one for men. And the object is, you, instead of dropping your keys into your pocketbook or into your backpack or into a canvas bag, you just drop this so that the outside of this catches the edge of your bag. And then you, you always know that your keys are at the top of the bag. Oh, that's so th nice. This stays right at the top. And actually, uh, Josh, if you want to go to the company website, there's a little 30-second video there of, um, of a, a woman looking for a key. So instead of dropping, pouring every... It's kind oh, my of gosh, funny. look at that bag. It's, it's a funny idea, wow. isn't it? Right, she's looking for her keys. She's, uh, <laughs> this bag has, has grown over this evolved <laughs> to the ultimate bag. Exactly. Um, Oh, so she shows you it's just like that, and it hangs down. And she has, there must be like on Amazon, like a hundred styles. And they, they start at about seven bucks up to about 15 bucks. But it's a very clever idea, and it's called <laughs> Fine. <laughs> They're very funny. That very is funny. pretty funny. That is funny. Yeah, they have all sorts of different versions. And, and I, I was just trying to think of, I wonder if there's a way to do it uh, for for cords, because I'm, I'm consistently looking for my micro USB cable, and if I could throw this into a backpack, the problem is with a backpack, I have zippers, and yeah, that's the problem. Quite the same. It, 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 it works best, like, with an open bag or a canvas bag, but what, I, what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> in my backpack, there's a little uh, <clears throat> side pocket, right. so I'm just going to stick this in the side pocket so that the keys hang straight down. I don't like putting, I have a, a lot of keys. And if I throw the keys themselves into the side pocket, there's a big bulge. But by using this, the keys can hang straight down. 
It won't be a big bulge, but I'll be able to find them really quickly. That's so, really great. Yeah. Yeah, it's a clever it's a clever idea. Finder's key purse, purse hook. hook. But yeah. But yeah, finder finders key purse dot com. And there's a whole bunch of different prices, tons, tons. Exactly, of and uh, out of there, and there's discounts uh, on Amazon. Right, right, right. Now the the, the next thing, uh, you know, I know you do a craft show, mm -hmm. but your craft show is not like craft making things. No, craft, we're not making right? stuff out of yarn and plywood or or anything like that. Then you're gonna hate this next guy. Oh no, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> you will like this gadget. Um, I, they gave me a couple rolls of it to uh, play with here and I can't wait to find out what I'm going to glue to what, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a great idea. They introduced it last year, but the woman said it wasn't going to be out for several months, but this year I went there and it's all set to go and they're called glue dots. And this is how glue dots work. Bartolo Man's made a to end the Gizwiz at the hardware show. What would you say if I told you that everything on that wall, all those neat graphics, the tile, the wainscoting, was put there with this tape? And now I will show you the label. It's very clever. They're called glue dots. And Catherine's over here, and we're going to talk about glue dots. And I'm going to have Catherine hold my microphone while I roll out some blue dots. Would you do that? I would absolutely love okay. to. And you start talking about blue dots. Sure. So glue dots are double-sided instant bonding adhesives, which means oh, we're out of, oh, leave we're, it to you to break we're it. Ran out of tape. <laughs> this one should be set to yes, go, right? Okay. Exactly. So, just ran so they out are tape. instant bonding double-sided adhesives, which means the minute you lay it down, it is ready to go. There's no mess, no dry time. They're very easy to use. They work on almost all substrates, wood, paper, plastic, metal, foam, glass, you name it. We've got several different formats with three different formulas. The one we are demonstrating right now is our advanced strength that holds up to eight pounds. That one looks like it is out. That's out as well. We are very yeah, happy with it. Yeah, they've been demoing yeah, it. Give me, give me, an, give me another one. Positionable, which is going to hold two pounds. It is removable, which means the minute you lay it down, you can remove it cleanly. It will not stain. It will not damage. Oh wow! It's great for hanging photos, posters, anything that you this need great for, for a quick kids at school bond. in a dorm room. So the dispenser that you're holding right now retails for four ninety nine. You wow. can find it at most major retailers, including Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and it will be in Target soon. Do you know how many dots are on this? Of course, there's 125 dots per dispenser. Um, they never, well, we'll say they don't dry out. You can keep them for up to 10 years. You can keep them in your toolbox and come back 10 years later and they're still as sticky as the day you got them. So uh, there you are. They're called glue dots, the three different kinds as Catherine showed you. They were actually here at the hardware show last year, but they were just coming into the marketplace and they weren't even in retail stores yet. So I waited a year and here they are and they're out and ready to be bought. I like these things a lot. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Maddest Rider, absolutely stuck on glue dots. <laughs> I'm stuck on glue dots. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, we, maybe we can sell them that slogan. Right, exactly. Well, that's, a, that's yeah. really awesome. Um, I can imagine this is just going to be really, really great. I've, I kind of hate Elmer's glue, and you now you have to wait uh, forever. You know, the, I, I did a project... Uh, along with uh, my my uh, buddy Dennis, trying to put uh, striping at the very top of the wallpaper. Um, you know, there, you, there's like a, a four inch border that you put along the top that so that you disguise where the wallpaper ended, and that is a real drag trying to get the goop on that four in, four inch strip. And if you had like glue dots, you could just run it across the top and the bottom of where that four inch would be and just lay that paper on and nothing runs. And it's instantly stickable, but there's no drying involved. You just roll and stick. Yeah, it's kind of like a gel almost. Uh, I yeah, it is. It is. That's a really interesting. Like, you know, if you're going back to school or even if you have an apartment and they say, 
You can't nail anything into the wall. So they have one that holds up to eight pounds. And then they have the removable stuff. So you can stick up posters and pictures. And then when you want, just take the pictures down. And as uh, I did on their table there is with the removable stuff, you just run your finger over it. And that little dot just rolls up in your finger and leaves no residue on the table. So it's, it's a real... And and now uh, again on Amazon they have they have glue dots the dispenser but then they have glue squares if you're putting up big things uh, so it's interesting yeah. glue dots dot com that's that's really cool yeah I like that a lot well uh, I guess we've come to the part of our show where we have to thank our first sponsor I fix it. You can fix it, and I fix it can help with over 10,000 high quality repair guides. It's a ton of repair guides. And this Ooh. covers everything from your electronics, uh, like your smartphone, your tablet, um, you know, your game console, to even your home appliances, like clothing or even your bike. I mean, Come on, you, there's all sorts of different um, tutorials here. They also have, uh, uh, on top of their foolproof instructions to fix all your stuff, uh, they also have a whole bunch of really, really nice products that they sell on the site to make your fixings easier. I have two of them with me here. I have the magnetic project mat. This is just, just such a really, we, we've actually showed this off when um, doing teardowns along with them uh, when, when we, uh, when we do teardowns, sometimes we do it on Sundays. Um, and the idea is that this mat is magnetic. So you can see I have a little paper clip here. And, you, and oh, that was the Gizwiz sign. It's, uh, we need to make the Gizwiz sign magnetic. Um, <laughs> yes. But, uh, um, um. yeah. Um, so when you're pulling tiny screws off of your phone or off of really anything that you might want to fix, uh, the magnetic mat will keep it in place. And then on top of that, it is writable. You can write on it. So we could, you know, basically put anything on here. Uh, you know, this is the, you know, the small screws uh, and, or, you know, from the front panel or whatever. You can, you can describe sort of what's in each section. At the b back of this marker, there's a, a little eraser so you can erase Ooh. without getting your fingers dirty or nice. reaching for a... Uh, uh, Kleenex or anything like that. So that's the, that's the project, Matt. That's, isn't that nice? And on top of that, they have this ProTech screwdriver set. Inside of this set, there's lots of different... Uh, this is just the box it comes in. Uh, you'll probably keep it in your backpack just like this. And it's, it's re it folds up really nicely. It's all Velcro. And then inside, you have basically all the screwdrivers that you're going to need. Uh, these are the star tip screwdrivers. Look at how tiny, teeny, tiny the little head on that is. It's, it's, mm. this is a really a professional uh, uh, get up. You have your uh, Phillips head, you have a flat head, you have even, this is a, a tri-wing uh, bit right here. And all of this packs up really nicely uh, and to easily throw into a backpack. And of course, you know, I see they're color coded. Uh, yeah. Do you know what the color coding is? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, these these three are all the uh, the five point star. Uh, oh, bits, that's great. Right. This is the flat head. Uh, oh. Over here is the tri wing. Then you have, I oh. believe, these are the uh, the Torx or Pentalobe, um, and then the uh, Pentalobe uh, security bits. These have the little security nice. holes in them. And then th this is your Phillips. So each each color represents a different type of, of bit. And there's even, uh, a, it's printed on the, the side which bit this is right here. There's a little icon to show that this is the Phillips head. Same thing well, on the bottom. That saves a lot of time. Ton, same, I mean, if you are trying to fix something fast, especially here at Twit, there's a lot of pressure to get things done quickly. Um, this, is so, this is crucial. It's something where you could... Not only is it carryable, so you can bring it to a location quick, you can determine which tool you need super fast, and on top of that, the quality of the tools are outstanding, just absolutely outstanding. The top of this swivel, so you can quickly keep it in place while, while you uh, screw in a screw or unscrew a screw, just like this. Uh, just, this is, this is absolutely needed. Um, and 
iFixit makes some really high quality stuff. So, uh, if you would like $10 off your first order of $50 or more, head on over to ifixit.com slash twit. At that page, you can learn more, you can see their repair guides, or you could start shopping for parts and tools. And then enter the code GIZWIZ at checkout, and that's how you uh, will apply uh, for that $10 off any purchase of $50 or more. That's at ifixit.com slash twit to learn more. And the offer code is GIZWIZ. And we thank iFixit for their support of the GIZWIZ. Absolutely great gadgets. Nice. This is Very a nice. Perfect sponsor for a gadget show. Absolutely. I, and now, ladies and gentlemen. This is that time. It is that time. No, you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Okay, let me head Get back it. to the corner. And Chad's theme for May is things that light up. Things that so light. So what do you got? So <laughs> this is an, this, this probably solidifies Chad's Crappy Corner like no other. Um, <laughs> See, okay. These are, in short, light up ice cubes. The idea is that you ha you want to fancy up your drink, so you just buy these ice cubes, you toss them in, and they light up. Uh, this is what they Wait, look you don't, like. You don't freeze them or anything. They're pre. They're pre. They they have been frozen in time in in plastic. <laughs> I see. Okay. Uh, okay. How they work is pretty simple. Uh, inside of uh, this cube is a tricolor LED, and then around that is a little bit of gelatin and then plastic on the outside. On the back, there are two little uh, connectors, and I can even connect them with my finger, and you can sort of see that they're, they're going to light up and sparkle here. If we turn Where's off that lighting guy? Where's that lighting yeah, guy? Yeah, we may want to turn off week. the studio lights. And lighting guy in three... Two, there we go. Uh, so yeah, so you can see that it lights up. And this is just with oh. my finger. I actually haven't poured water over this because I was a little bit afraid that they might break. So um, so we'll, so yeah, you don't have to uh, to um, freeze them. Uh, oh, okay. In fact, so you actually should you would probably put in real ice and then one of these, right? To be honest, you probably wouldn't put this into a drink that you want to drink out of. Oh. <laughs> I was under the same uh, expectation that this would be something you'd put into a guest's drink. There are no instructions uh, in this packaging whether or not it is dish uh, you can wash them. You can hand wash them. I hope, uh, like just looking at some of the build quality of some of these, the back of this is really foggy. And so it's questionable whether these are human food safe uh, and oh, nowhere oh. does it say that this could be put into a drink at all so oh. let's throw a few of these I, i'm a little bit of disappointed uh so we'll, we'll we i have two different glasses to kind of show show off uh what they might look like we kind of have like oh, a, okay. a beer glass okay. and then i have some water here so we'll go ahead and pour oh, this okay in. okay you know is that like a paper label on the oh that looks great isn't that cool looking Oh, and each one, each one is multicolor, right? Right. I, so each one is is tri oh. triluminescent LEDs in there. Um, there, you can, nice. You can easily see that there's a few that work better than others. So like these two are doing great. This one over here, these two uh, are not. <laughs> um, okay. Over here, it looks like all of them are working. You you do kind of want to point them upwards. There's a, a back that is non see through. That's where the uh, that's where the circuits are, but this one, uh, as long as you put them sort of upward facing, they'll be fine. They do float, uh, so they float at the top of your glass here. So there we go. That's perfect. Perfect yeah, shot. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, good. They do float. There's a little bit of air in there. Uh, but I would say, like here, look, actually, do you mind? Well, there's one that doesn't float, and it has water all <laughs> up in it. Um, see, that's what I'm worried about was that. Yeah, I, I agree with you, <laughs> right? I guess. Well, well, you would serve it to guests, just not you, yourself. Your favorite guests. <laughs> <laughs> just not important guests. That's right. Uh, yeah, it seems like something you'd put onto a desk or a table out, out in, inside of the party, and they'll, and they'll light up for a long time. 
Um, oh. But, I mean, that looks really neat. I mean... That, that it does. You know, put that on a coffee table in the middle of a party, and that's kind of a neat little thing. Um, so let's talk about build quality again. Let's go back to that. Oh, okay. Because the best part of this has got to be the packaging that it came in. Oh, okay. A absolutely. Oh, I love, I love packaging that's uh, been right. loosely translated to English. You are so spot on. So spot on. So let's look at the front of this. Yeah. Polychrome flash ice. Then there's Ooh, three lines of text underneath that, right? Polychrome flash ice, aren't you excited? It says, uh, let me read it to you. Glowing ice cube, amazing sparkling. <laughs> you might think this is a haiku, but it's not. Light in it, tricolor, LEDs lighting in. <laughs> there's definitely lighting in it, tricolor oh. lights, LED lighting in. Uh, turn eight mode available waterproof. Turn eight mode available wa waterproof. Oh, okay. My favorite and, and part make relax time. is make relax time at the bottom. Wow. <laughs> make relax time. Oh. Ah, LED ice cubes. Make relax time. Wow. <laughs> and what's what's on the back of the package? Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Just okay. with a sticker. <laughs> it's the exact same. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, make relax wow. times on the opposite side, but it says the exact same thing. Uh, it so shows, what do these cost? So they are luckily a little bit uh, inexpensive, only seven dollars and sixty nine cents, and you get uh, uh, twelve of them. Um, we had one that came out of the package right away that w was a dud, and so I gave it to Burke, and so this is only eleven of of the f flashy ice yeah. cubes. Uh, and it looks and like is, is your guess when the batteries die, you throw them out. I right? guess yeah, there's no way to open it up. There's no these are I don't even think these are recyclable. On the back, you were mentioning the little sticker. This there's yeah. paper underneath the plastic that says oh, okay. flash okay. ice cube put into water, flash automatically. Put oh, okay. into water and then a uh, C E. I don't know what the C E stands for. You know what? Consumer I'm not electronics. Sure. I always thought it was consumer electronics, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it looks like uh, you know, in the t this one is blinking, but I think it really stands for crap enclosed. <laughs> crap enclosed. <laughs> Come on, electricity. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, but actually, you you wouldn't want them to open to replace batteries or yeah. anything because that that would make them even more dangerous to drink. I, I would I almost wish that there was there's a plastic shell. Yeah, these two are basically dead. There's a plastic shell that you could wash and then because even if I, I just don't see how you could throw these into a dishwasher to make sure they were clean before you gave them the guests. Um, but yeah, uh, I also have no idea of battery life because uh, I didn't want to kill any of them before no yeah, right uh, before we started the show. But, so they're basically less, they're like almost like 50 cents each though, right? Yeah, 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 about 50 cents each. There's one at the bottom here that I'm... Oh, it, it died. It died. She's dead, Jim, it's she's dead. dead. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so yeah, I do about 50 cents each. I'd say that's fine. I mean, I could, I could imagine putting three ice cubes into a glass and setting four glasses around. Uh, assuming that each of the ice cubes work, which so far on our yeah, yeah that'd, uh, it'd be a fun, it'd be a fun party thing, and they're right. certainly cheap enough. Right, right. Uh, I do believe I don't. Well, it doesn't. It looks like there is not. Uh, it says free shipping, but I don't think it's Amazon Prime available. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and Oznet that, is that, mentioning that, you can hand wash them. That's a good point. You can hand wash them before you do. Oh, okay. Uh, QA on Amazon says that it's okay for drinks after you wash them in warm soapy water by hand. Right, so you could do that. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. I, okay. I would just worry about one springing a leak, which is why I assume this one is here at the bottom, and then battery acid getting into your drink. Um, that would be my only worry. Here, let's get move these over and see if we can fish out that one and see if it actually has a crack in it. Well, you never know, though. I mean, people make cocktails with all kinds of ingredients, you and know, you never know what could end up being really good. If there's alcohol in it, it's it's clean, right? Well, some battery acid. Yeah, you're absolutely right. right. You're I absolutely mean, right. Or you could put little rubber gloves around them. 
Yeah, uh, I had another idea. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, did they make them in clear? I guess they did. <laughs> right. Or flavors. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so anyway, that is the uh, water submersible decorative LED ice cubes or polychrome flash ice. Depending wow. On so you would say they're, they're, they're fun for a party. And I'd say they're fun for a party. Yeah. They're definitely, yeah. it's definitely a great product for Chad's Crappy Corner. They're fun. They're cute. Uh, they're pretty impressive all sitting in, in one glass. Uh, I don't yeah. know if I want to spend, you know, $7 on a... On a single, you know, light you know up what? Just thing. for just for laughs, can you spare one and just leave it in overnight? Oh, totally. And I mean, it, we could leave this in. Well, you know, and then next yeah. week I'll say, Chad, like, how many days do you think you got out of it, or did it even run overnight, or? Yeah, I mean, we could just, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's it. That's we'll it. Keep that one, that one, a going. Um, perfect. Yeah. So make relax time with polychrome flash ice. <laughs> <laughs> and that about does it for Chad's crappy corner. Let's move on right. to Nick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together <laughs> they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Nick's Gadget Warehouse. Fog and someone, uh, Eric in the chat room, saying, "What did they cost, Eric? We, uh, they were just seven. What were they? Seven dollars and seventy seven right, cents. Right, right. About eight dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, seven dollars. Under and eight bucks for a dozen of them. Yeah, for a dozen. So, yeah, for twelve. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we have a viewer video, but it's not a warehouse video. But I thought I would play it because it kind of fits in with hardware, and we, we, since we're talking a lot about hardware." Uh, it's from Lee in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, and he said, Dick, this is a great device. It was designed for soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan, but it has uh, camping applications at home. And actually, I want to get one of these for when I drop something in the Hudson River. So let's take a look at this gadget that Lee has picked as one of his favorite gadgets. Hi, Dick. My name's Lee, and uh, I have a couple items here to show you that uh, I picked up recently and that uh, have assisted me greatly in camping. Uh, these items were originally developed for the Army, actually, or for soldiers in the Army, particularly EOD technicians. Uh, this is a grappling hook. It's a pocket size, although you can see this is kind of large. I've actually got several different sizes. Uh, there's a m micro size and then an itty-bitty pico size. So let me show them the to you now. This is the tiniest grabby hook I've ever seen. <laughs> How, uh, these are made by a company called uh, countycom.com. They make a lot of different uh, EOD-based uh, products. Uh, I'm not sure what an EOD is. Stuff, nylon bags and all mm. kinds of stuff. Um, Explode on delivery. These are machined <laughs> aluminum bodies. No, those are the ice cubes. With stainless steel <laughs> machine uh, spikes. They are not for climbing, to speak of, or for emergency situations. Uh, these were developed for EOD technicians so they could throw them out and they would drag them along the ground to try and hook uh, command detonation wires so they could... Uh, manipulate those wires and render a device safe uh, but it has several practical applications for civilian use uh, first and foremost you can use it to uh, retrieve things uh, you could use it at a lake to try and retrieve something you dropped in the water scooter x says something explosive you can, uh, like disposal. a fishing pole oh okay um, you, i've also heard uh, some people use them for hunting uh, when they climb up in their tree stand they'll yeah, use a grapple no hunting here this. Uh, to pick up their bow off the ground so they don't have to carry it up. Um, another great use for especially the larger of these two is as a rope throw. If you need to get a piece of 550 or a rope uh, up into a tree so you can hang a bear bag or any other reason, hanging a tarp or something like that, uh, they'd be pretty handy for that as well. This one's really hard to do with my big man hands here. Tiny, super tiny. That is a tiny So you get one. the idea. I've got uh, three different grapple hooks made by countycom.com. 
I'm going to show you the website in a second. Uh, this big one, Mama Jama here, the pocket size one is $34.95. Uh, Micro is $26.95, and the Pico is $21.95. Um, they're great pieces of tech, and I've used them for camping a lot, especially for getting stuff into trees. And I have retrieved a couple things uh, that I've dropped into lakes while fishing. So again, the website, county www.countycom.com. How did that happen? Search for the uh, grapple <laughs> hooks on that site. And, okay, uh, that's it. Thanks. I would. I would type that in forward if I was going to that website. <laughs> I don't know. That's MOC, great. yeah. Um, you know, you could get the big one, Chad. How how tall is the brick house? Um, how many stories? Tall enough to try it out? How, yep, I you know, you could out in the street, throw it up on the roof. Gosh, that'd be so cool. I'm looking. And I'm then look cl climb up it. Um, e e grappling e hooks. They don't. They have a special grappling hook. <laughs> I want your grappling hooks. I don't want any of your <laughs> other products. I just want grappling hooks. Uh, that looks like YouTube videos. Oh wow, watches. Oh man, I kind of that. This looks like a cool, cool place. Uh, this is a bullet pin. The, wow, this website has a lot of stuff. Um, I had no idea. I'm sure that this is it something is not, that yeah. that. Uh, um, people in the profession know about, but I've never. Wow, we were hooks teaching people a lot about gadgets they didn't know. I think I, I think I just saw a spark go by. Yeah, we, we could do a military gadget show. Yeah, my word, there's um, some sparks. Oh my word! Wait, oh yeah, look at those. Yeah, sparkies. No, super spork jumbo. Super spork Let's jumbo. Let's look for a hook on this page. Uh, hook. Oh, H. Hook. Nope, not. Or is it under J for grappling? Here. Uh, I can't spell grappling. There we oh, go. Okay. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, pocket grappling hook. Yeah, that's the, uh, the, that version. I'm trying to see if, oh, I wish it would give me a, a, a breadcrumb trail to figure out what this is. Um, I don't think this would be under nylon gear. Cutting pins, other items. Maybe it's on other items. Wow, they have a lot. Oh, what are you of looking for? The the hook. I mean, there's this one, but it doesn't have multiple sizes. I wanted to oh, see. Oh, oh, I see. The yeah, largest okay. size they have, but yeah, I don't see a way to find that. Um, but you know, I'm cheap. I probably buy the largest one because. You get all that aluminum for $27, uh, and the Pico one is $22. Compared to the other one, yeah, absolutely. You, you only get an ounce of aluminum in the little one. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need Okay, here we go. Core. I found the micro. Here's the oh, micro okay. one. Um, very tiny. Wow. Um, yeah, see, yeah, I'd want the big one. Well, I mean, I know he said that you shouldn't use it to... No, but I think people. you should climb up the side <laughs> of the building. I want to try it for people. So I think <laughs> you should. Uh, because you're, you're kind of lightweight and you wouldn't yeah. weigh that much. You know, you could be like a f going up the side of the building. That's what with I'm saying. A drop with a, um, a camera, obviously. You can't just buy a grappling hook and not expect to grapple something like your Batman. Um, exactly. Uh, exactly. Quick carry, quick deploy, quick to stow, multiple mission capable, marine application SWAT, EOD, which was the uh, explosive ordnance disposal, radio telephone. Oh, and there's a lot of uh, you need. You have that. Uh, you have that. All that's a lot. What you need to. Yeah, I mean that EOD here at the brick house all the time. Oh yeah, from the fan mail alone. Um, yeah. this is just such a really cool product. Um, yeah. Very, very, very neat, and uh, I'm thanks for sending that in. Yeah, Lee from uh, Fort Leavenworth, thank you for your video of the day. And uh, since we're going to uh, talk about that, uh, we're looking for more videos. Uh, I bought a piece of crap. I invented this, my gadget warehouse, uh, my favorite gadget of all time. Or, or just like Lee did a couple weeks ago, I said, you know, any interesting gadget we're interested in. So it was kind of fun that uh, Lee sent us the place to get grappling hooks. Yeah, I'm going to be like lost said, on that website. Yeah, I know. I, I think I'm going to get really get one for uh, 
I had someone working on my engine, and they dropped a piece of the cowling in the river, and they oh yeah uh, tried to get it up with a boat hook, but the grappling hook would have been uh, it easier. It would sink to, immediately, yeah. Yeah. To, to, um, and if, if it's shown you get some crap, and I have a very interesting letter of the week, which uh, I'll talk about when we get to it. Yeah. But, so... Uh, Send us uh, your video, two to three minutes, put it on YouTube. Send the link to gizwiz at twit.tv, and hopefully it'll get on the show, and you will get crap in return. <laughs> you might get the, uh, I was uh, pulling the ice cubes out and drying them off. There were two that even after drying them off, uh, we, we can see this one, uh, they wouldn't stop. So these are the two that we're going to test their battery out with. Uh, oh, good, It's good. still... Still, oh, it's hard to tell, but it is still in there. There you go, just a little bit. You might get a couple of ice cubes. Yeah, you with the batteries know. already dead. Uh, you don't have to worry <laughs> about that uh, yourself. There's a few people sending us uh, Batman gifts and uh, videos in the chat room. Uh, this one is from Patrick. Uh, oh, there you go. This, yeah. this could be you. Yeah. You, uh, who, would the, who would your assistant be? <laughs> You and Jammer B. Yeah, are they? Do they even have? Oh yeah, they do have a wire there. Yeah, I think it'd be me and me or me and Josh. You know, Josh. Go you and Josh grappling. Yes, uh, grappling and with life. They also linked to an actual grappling hook for twenty-five dollars. Uh, that looks like it's uh, it's its name is a uh, uh, thirty-three foot SWAT style folding grappling hook. I. Still, I'm not sure if this can hold humans, but we can find that out later. <laughs> well, as long as you as long as you have it on video, right? We just need to have the cameras right. rolling. You at cannot all mess up as long as it's recorded. No, that's everything's it. Fine. It's fine. I guess it is time now for the letters. La, 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 la. I always want to clean up while the music happens. I'm like, okay, now it's time to clean. <laughs> do, 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 do. But. All right, our letter of the week. And this is kind of fascinating because have you ever seen what, who, who sends it, the stuff out to the people whose De videos use? Debbie. Debbie is our Debbie. Male have you ever seen what Debbie sends out? Yeah. She, uh, well, yes and no. I had an idea, but oh, okay. the, well, this it wasn't until this letter that I really knew. Yes, exactly. I never know. I, I send uh, every month. I send a, a bunch of Mads and a bunch of Al signed Alfred E. Newman pictures out to Debbie, uh, and I know that Chad gives Debbie some stuff. But we had a viewer who had a video shown, and he decided to send us. It was Ashcan, R A R D A L A N. And he decided to make an unboxing video to show what he received. And he's not getting more crap for sending us right. this video. Send us one video. You can't, you can't, you can't yeah, yeah. Uh, wish for more wishes. That's uh, right. You can't build, you can't <laughs> right. build on your, your, your 15 seconds of fame uh, right. here on the Giz. But if you send in a video and we use it, you'll get something like this. And the first time I'm seeing it too. So let's watch uh, Ashken's video. And Ashken loves to do uh, yeah, the video captions, intro. and here we go. Hi, Ron. Hey, everybody at twit.tv and gizwiz.biz. It's me, DG Tronic. This is sort of an unboxing video. My video that I sent to the show was featured on the show a while ago. If you remember, I featured this product on the video oh, yeah, right yeah. here. This little it's hand, hand squeeze exercise. The digital thingy. hand exercise. So I got a package from gizwiz.biz 
and I'm going to show everyone quickly what was included in the package. Actually came from Twitch. This That's right here, which is a product you guys live demoed a few weeks back, is for cutting sandwich toast cutter. sandwiches into shapes. And this is a puzzle one. It's actually really cool. Haven't used it yet. I got right here a tech TV. Oh, this logo is good. Sticker, I have that on the back of my cool. chair. Wow. I have one of those. Not that one. I got a signed picture of Alfred in Human. Right Blank there. on the back. <laughs> You could use it for note taking, anything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Got a signed copy of the Mad Magazine right here, which is super, super cool. <laughs> wow. And envelopes, extra Hello. envelopes. With <laughs> me. An oh. autograph of OMG Chad himself <laughs> we that he has made. signed for me. Wow, yours is ago. personalized. <laughs> right there. Uh. Nice. A Before More. You Buy sticker, which is a show on twit.tv with a twit logo and a twit logo sticker, which is really awesome. And the other envelope, I think, has a hundred thousand cash. <laughs> yeah. And here I got an autographed picture of Jason Howell. I really appreciate this because I love all the work Jason does on the Twit Network, including all about Android. So this was very sweet. Whoa. Yeah, one from Leo. And a picture of Leo Laporte himself autographed. Not sure if the autographs are actually from these people or somebody just <laughs> signed them. No, 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 Leo. I think, I think that's Leo. Leo. No, it's cool Leo. To get. I think that's Leo. So yeah. this is all the stuff I wow, got we a lot from of stuff. my video. Being featured. Can we keep it up? Um, Can we the keep sending all show this show on stuff? Twit.tv? <laughs> we only just do it Thank for you him. for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twittercom DGtronic. I will see you in the next video. So about, uh, I would say three or four weeks ago, they uh, Tony took a photo of me and uh, asked which one was the best one, and then they went out and had these photos printed. Oh, my gosh. Of me. And I, but the thing is, I they had 500 <laughs> copies made of, of the one that you signed to that guy. No, so I kind of thought they were a little bit ridiculous. So I, 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 know, I don't know, it's just hard to look at a photo of yourself that you know you're going to, uh, to, <laughs> to sign. So I made them to, out to all the editors. So every, these are just two of them. We have about uh, five editors here, and each of them has. Uh, so I have uh, Tony, uh, or no, Anthony, uh, you craft my world, because he uh, helps oh, me. How I spelled <laughs> Anthony's name wrong. Uh, I, I spelled it Antony instead of Anthony. But it's fine. Uh, and then Tony, uh, you're my number one fan. And every single editor, there's about three or more of these lying around. Mine says, uh, keep on crafting. Keep on crafting. Yeah, I really like mine. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, so. It's that little, it's that tiny little crappy touch that really <laughs> makes a difference. Absolutely. And it's funny because I thought, I don't know why, but I thought that, you know, Photos of yourself would be really difficult. This is just, we just like went to like Walmart and just had a whole bunch of them printed out just on photo paper. Like you can see at the back, there's a... Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I've been buying pictures of you uh, on Amazon because I've been getting them at a discount. <laughs> right, I know. I just noticed this, uh, it has the file name that we used, uh, <laughs> 320266736 chad.jpg. Uh, yeah, that's on the, the one. that's the it. ones I've been getting. Uh, yeah, so... Um, so yeah. Anyway, if you send something in, that's that's what you get. I I um, I think uh, Debbie's not here. I'm gonna go give this back to to the editors. Um, I think I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put it onto the desk here. Um, that Debbie does that for everyone. Yeah, I, I think I you know because she'll she'll send me an email saying uh, we're out of pictures or we're out of magazines. Uh, occasionally, if it's just when the new mad's coming out. 
I will say, Debbie, you send him the Twitch stuff, and I will directly send the person uh, the mad thing. But it, it, actually, that little package was a lot of fun. Yeah, and Je Jeff is confirming that, yeah, we, we, that's what we send to everyone. And, um, yeah, this is just a whole bunch of fun. So Wait, it you is, mean everyone yeah. gets the signed pictures by Chad? Well, well they Everybody? Are Yours was personally made for you. You craft my world, Josh. I guess. Yeah. No, it was made just for you. All right. Just for you, Josh. Just for you and everyone else that uh, gets the <laughs> Tony, your, your photo's right there on the front of the TD desk, so you can take it just right right down there. there no, he, he, he meant to throw it out. <laughs> He's taking them back into his room. <laughs> ah, okay, that about does it for this episode of The Gizwiz. Uh, make sure you head on over to gizwiz.biz and play What the Heck Is It? Just scroll on down to the What the Heck Is It tile. Uh, and also, all, uh, here, before we get to that, Dickie D yes. does such a great job of show notes. Uh, every week, gizwiz.biz, there are links to all the articles and things that we've talked about uh, with photos and, and paragraphs written, paragraphs upon paragraphs, written about each product that we do. He does a fantastic job of doing that. So head on over to gizwiz.biz to just check out the show notes. And while you're there, check out what the heck is it. Um, this week, we have an ancient um, weapon recreated for children in plastic. Um, <laughs> obviously. Hey, you know what? You could put a line around that and throw it up on the roof. Yeah. Brick house. That's what we, who needs a grappling hook? Yeah, this is a a, a rounding hook. <laughs> it's, it's a, there's a there's the there's a television show Zora is it where she throws this this disc and it bounces. Oh yes, and yes. She grabs it back. You know, isn't it, it Hercules like. and yeah. and Xena? Is that the show? Yeah, Xena, the Princess Warrior, or something like that. Yes, this is big in the '90s or the early yeah, 2000s. Yeah, I, I actually did that for man. Yeah. It was very big with, uh, especially with youth. Yeah, yeah, like Xena, this of course, big Amazon woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Xena, there it is. Xena, it's the, the plastic warrior. Xena, the, the Princess Warrior, Warrior Princess, yeah. uh, uh, may recreated in plastic for children. There you go. Uh, you should submit your guess. Uh, there are 12 Mad Magazines for the correct answer, but 24, twice the chances uh, for just funny and, and really good comical answers. Yeah, exactly. We reward stupidity <laughs> and humor. <laughs> like this show. Yeah, yeah, basically. I don't like this show. I don't yeah. like and as long as like you record it, you can't go wrong. I see the uh, cube in the glass is still. Uh, yeah. At least we know it. At least we know twenty minutes is good. Yeah, it la it lasts for at least twenty minutes. Uh, there's yeah. one. It's kind of lost its. Um, will to live. Yeah. It's I'm lost not... its will to light. Like you can kind of bang it. It's electronic, so if you give it a good smack, it should work just like the television. But, uh, but yeah, we got. Yeah, they're they're still going. This one died for some reason. I don't know why. But the other one's going strong. And uh, I guess that about wraps it up for this episode. Make sure that you subscribe at twit.tv slash gizwiz. You can find us on iTunes, Zune, uh, Roku, Miro, Stitcher, Blueberry, uh, er everywhere. Xena. Xena and Mars. Uh, Family Video, Family. I think, <laughs> yes, has cassettes. Okay. Daily Motion. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't think that's true. But uh, we are on all the platforms. Uh, if you subscribe, our episodes get hand-delivered to you, so you don't have to go search us out. Uh, they just arrive in your inbox or your podcatcher or RSS feed. And we record live on Wednesdays at around 4.30 Pacific. And that about wraps it up. See you next week. I'll be here. Bye.